Hello, welcome to this sort of get ender pearls with Woot. I'm going to try to talk about some of the stuff you might want to do. There is actually a manual for the for the mod, which uh, goes through it pretty clearly. Um, so yeah, so you need a yar hammer and dies, uh, and they are returned back to you, and that's it. So yeah, so you can get this yar hammer. Uh, and it's used to make, for instance, with the plate die. Um, this is one of the. Uh, it's only. It's, yeah, it only uses for that. Um, that will get you some under iron plates. Um, you also need to get the prism die, which takes an ender pearl. That will get you an eye of ender. Um, these are pretty uh, crucial things. Uh, and if we can see here, we can see we use the dies. Um, with the uh, the under iron, which is from the uh, mesh die there, and the hammer, and we can use that to make this thing, the mob prism. And essentially, what you do with the mob prism is you just uh, left click on a mob, and I did it with an Enderman. Uh, and what it will do is it will tell you uh, what tier uh, kind of structure you need. So here I've got a tier one structure. Uh, and it's basically a combination of these uh, grey factory blocks, which require the uh, casing, which comes from the casing one, uh, the grey and the uh, red ones as well, um, which again require the factory casing. So we've got that there. Uh, other than that, we have these cap blocks. So we've actually got one there, tier one capstone. Um, so you can see just the factory cap which requires the connector which requires the connector die and a bit of uh, nether quartz as well so you do really need to go to the nether before you do any of this like most things uh, iron plated skulls which can be a combination of any skulls uh, and yeah like I say the obsidian is not used um, so you get the capstones there and then there are two additional blocks here um, the first one is this guy. This is the um, well. There's basically the, there's a factory and the controller. So tier one you can see is going to cost 80 RF. So if we look at the tier one here, you can see it's a combination. Uh, well, it depends. Yeah, it depends how you want to do it, I guess. But you do need to have these connectors, um, and you can see these require the shards, which come uh, from the shard diet. So yeah. Um, but yeah, you can see, so for instance, uh, that looks like it's a full cap tier four capstone. It's actually not, uh, I believe it's the, uh, the, uh, controller. So yeah. So you basically have the mob controller, which you're always going to have to have again, using that connector and some factory casing with some glass. Uh, and then what you simply do is, uh, yeah, you just need the controller, like I say, and the factory. Uh, and what you would do is originally you would have the layout block uh, placed there. You would you would swap out the layout block once you've completed the structure. Because you see what happens with the layout block, which I suppose I haven't really shown, is that is is if you had the layout block wherever you put it, right? It will actually um, it will actually let me just do it like this. You have to have it one above. So you can see you can see the structure, and then you simply right click and to get tier two, tier three, and tier four. And each mob, you see here that the Enderman is actually um, the end. The Enderman is tier three, so you can't just do a tier one Enderman. Basically, the mob is is uh, intrinsically linked to the um, the tier spawner you have. So that way, you couldn't just make a very simple tier. Uh, a tier one spawn of Enderman because otherwise it would be too cheap. You have to use, and, and these factory blocks, for instance, once we get to the Enderman blocks, so we would need to use the tier two ones, which would be with blaze powder, more factory casing, and then the tier three blocks, which will be the um, the green ones, they require Ender Pearls. And we need a, and, 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 you know, too long didn't read 64 Ender Pearls required to actually have a proper spawner uh, to even create this, this spawner. 
All right. So the next thing then to notice is, is that you have to put in the uh, power at the bottom. So basically, like I say, you just replace that layout block with the uh, with the um, the factory thing, and then the mob controller on top, and then I believe. Yeah, and then you just right click on it with the uh, it's either right click or left click. I think it's probably right click, but with a with the appropriate mob prism, right? So I couldn't use this one on here because it's only tier one, but I used a cow on this. So I think if we just see here, we can see spawning cow, spawning one mob. So it's simply a case of powering it up. Output comes out the front, and there is actually a, a trans vector interface type block as well for for extra power so let's have a look this should be running already actually let's see if we're gonna get anything in the chest I believe it outputs directly to the front of it right There we go. So you can see it's starting to output items. Um, now, of course, it's quite slow outputting. Like, there are upgrades as well. Um, and that's basically how that works. Now, for instance, if we look over here, there's, I mean, there's multiple different ways, aren't there, to spawn mobs. If you're starting a game, is it's a problem that I've been thinking about. Like, for instance, you might want to do something like this. Um, this is actually probably quite a handy way to get... The thing is, right, you need to have enough ender pearls. Here we've got a tier 3 structure. Uh, this is before it's formed. That one was actually when it was formed. So there's different ways, of course. You can use the soul binder with the powered spawner uh, system. Um, and you may also want to consider telepads, matter transport to get to and from the end. Because you, you don't actually have to kill the dragon. If you need if you need end stone um, for this, you know, you might not have to kill the dragon and stuff like that. You can have a farm. Um, and it does, you see, it only uses 0 0.1 ender pearls, so you get 10 per ender pearl. So that's going to be it, very easy to get the amount you need for the um, these green blocks here. Uh, I've actually filled in the whole lot, but I didn't do the uh, capstones, I've just seen that. Uh, but yeah, it, the die is pretty uh, useful, mainly for this guy, the uh, prism die thing here. So let's, um, so I'm going to need those capstones, aren't I? So we've got a tier 1, a tier 2, and a tier 3 capstone. So we need five of them for the third tier altar. Um, I may actually just uh, pop into Create for this, because it's just going to take a little bit uh, uh, less time to do that. Okay, so I'll do that. So we can just put the capstones to here. And basically, each tier, they won't require a capstone. So this doesn't require any other capstones. Okay, so hopefully I've built this correctly. So now what I would do is, I think everything should be correct. Let's uh, let's see if we can get it to work then. So we'll get the factory block, factory mob factory. Yeah. So like I said before, we we swap out this guy, and we put the factory block where that was, and then we put the mob controller on top. So we've got the... Uh, do I still have that mob prism? I do. So we just... And you can see it just automatically uh, updated what it looked like. So that means that I've built it correctly. Um, and we can see that it's going to do exactly the same thing. So again, just put the chest in front. Uh, uh, it might be here a while. I'll probably get over pretty quickly. Just look for the the gap, I guess. Have I gone too far? Oh yeah, no, that's right, because it's, it's here. Okay, so yeah, we can put that there. And yeah, and that's a very... Um, yeah, that's basically how you do the, uh, the spawning system. Um, not much more to it than that. Um... But yeah, may as well just go into uh, survival. Oh, yeah, there are various different things like um, the extender block. Uh, the other, uh, yeah, I'm 
let's uh, let me just wait till actually I would like to just see the first ender pearl come in. So let's see if we can get it. Of course, it may not actually um, get an ender pearl. That's the thing, isn't it? So let's briefly then just look at some of the other blocks. I'm not going to go through them here because um, I want to keep the the video fairly short. And, and maybe while I'm doing this, there's a chance the ender pearl will actually come in. But yeah. But you can see you get various. Uh, you can see what you need to do each. Uh, and then the tier four as well uh, is for the wither boss as well, uh, and it's going to require even more expensive uh, blocks. We'll look at my look at those as well. Uh, yep. Yeah, so there's this proxy block, like I say, like the transvector interface. Um, so yeah, it may be that it's not. Yeah, we should be getting enough uh, throughput there. And there's these various different things you see to increase the. Um, you've even got blood ma magic interaction as well. So for the well of suffering, you could use that. That's pretty cool. But yeah, you can see. So I, if, even if I, even if I don't get any drops, it's because I haven't really put any of these upgrades in. But yeah, that's the sort of next stage. It's this whole. Um, uh, this whole kind of. Yeah, I haven't got any, but rest assured they are going to come in at some point. Um, but I, I do need to get the uh, upgrades on. Um, but yeah, I mean, not really much more as I can say. I guess I did show the other one, but... I mean, every 320 ticks. That should really get me one, shouldn't it, by now? Hmm. Yeah, it is draining 400 ticks. 400 RF per tick. There we go. Thanks for watching.